Today we're gonna to be talking about how to recover deleted photos from your camera. So let's just say hypothetically, you went on vacation to Utah last summer. And specifically, but still hypothetically, you took lots of photos. And when you came back, you plugged your SD card into your computer and copied everything over. You then, still hypothetically speaking, didn't properly eject the card before removing it. You then hand the card back to your significant other, who then puts the card back into the camera and formats it, deleting everything for the next shoot. Still hypothetically speaking, you then realize that there's fewer files on your computer than what was on the card, and you even notice there's even some files you can't even open as they're most likely corrupt. Your heart begins to sink as you slowly start realizing that everything is ruined and life is meaningless. And now all you want to do is curl up on the floor in the fetal position and cry. Now, no one really wants to admit it, but you know, we've all been there at some point or another where somehow, someway, we lost or deleted photos by accident somehow. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use a program called PhotoRec to recover deleted files. So we're going to go ahead and open a web browser and go to cgsecurity.org. And that's gonna take us to this page here where we have uh, this link to test disk and photo rec. Now, photo rec is the program we wanna use. However, it's part of another package called test disk. And test disk is designed for recovering partitions, but we're gonna be using photo rec, which is designed for recovering files. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the download page. And if you're daring, you can go for the beta version. But uh, if you're not, you can just go for the regular version. And this will work on Mac, Windows, and Linux. So off the bat, we want to go ahead and download the Windows 64-bit version here. And that's going to go ahead and give us a zipper file that contains all this right here. And let me go ahead and close up the web browser here. So inside this folder here, that's test disk 7.0, which is what I'm going to be using. It's going to have a lot of files in here. The ones we want, though, so the ones we're going to want to be looking for are the Photo Rec Win and Q Photo Rec Win. Um, Photo Rec Win is the terminal interface. So, you know, if you're fancy into that, um, you can go ahead and do that. However, Q Photo Rec Win is your graphic interface. So, we're going to go ahead and double click the graphic interface and we're going to go ahead and launch that. Uh, Windows Defender is going to freak out because this is from an unknown source and it's not sure if it wants to run it. We're going to go ahead and say yes. Okay, so here we are inside of PhotoRec. Um, go ahead and center this right here. Okay, so first things first, starting at the top here, we have the drive that we can choose to recover files from. And below here, we're shown all the partitions on it. This is a bit of a mess because I have a... Uh, somewhat of an intricate setup set up on this specific disk. So we're going to go ahead and select our drive G. Now to show you what that is, that is my EOS digital uh, SD card for my Canon 60 Mark II. And as we can see, if we go into it, there is nothing. It is freshly formatted. There is no data on here. So I'll go ahead and uh, minimize that. So here in this window, we're shown all the partitions that we have um, and how big they are. And uh, if we look down here, we have the file system type. Now, this one up here, this is never going to be important to you unless you're using a Linux file system, which is probably highly unlikely. So we're just going to stick with FAT, NTFS, and uh, leave it at that. So here we have the option of free or whole. Now, free scan will allow for searching all of the empty space. If there's files already there, it won't look there. It will look only on the empty parts of that uh, drive. Now, if we select whole here, we will extract files from the entire partition, just like it says right there. And it's basically gonna search from beginning to end for any file it comes across. And then right down here, we have the uh, save destination for all of the files it does find. Now, one thing I will note and something you do not want to do is put the save destination file um, or save destination location on the same drive as the one you're trying to recover from because things will start to get quickly complicated. So we'll go ahead and uh, since we're going to be pulling from my uh, SD card on drive G, we're going to go ahead and uh, come over here to PC and uh, go to drive Z here. Go to media photography. We'll just create a, a new directory here. We'll call it a photo recovery. And the 
leave it at that. We'll go ahead and open that, select. Okay, so now we're gonna be recovering photos from drive G and we're gonna be saving things we find to drive Z at this directory here. So this is pretty straightforward, very simple. We're gonna go ahead and click on search and it's gonna start searching that SD card from beginning to end and you can see its progress here and it'll tell you everything it finds down here. So the way this works is um, when you delete something, it, it actually doesn't get erased. It, it kind of gets forgotten. And the, the binary ones and zeros are still going to be there unless you keep using that drive, which at some point that data will just get overwritten. But if it's not overwritten, it just sits there forgotten. So the binary ones and zeros will still be there. So I can actually come over here and uh, open up a file browser here. And uh, right now we're looking in our... Canon directory or SD card directory here and as we can see there's literally nothing there so we'll go back over here and we'll see let's just take a look at what we've recovered as you can see here photo rec is uh, creating a directory where it's going to save everything and uh, we can open that up and we can see all the files that it is pulled out of there um, you can see the file type here CR2 those are Canon raw files MOV files mp4 files it, it, it'll recover anything it finds, basically. And uh, the naming scheme is actually really weird. Um, I don't fully understand it, but you don't have to worry too much about that because if you have metadata in your photos and files, like date and time and uh, you know anything else like that, that data will actually still be in that photo, in my experience. At least that's what I found. So basically all you're going to want to do is just let it do its thing, you know, go get coffee or whatever, and uh, let it... Uh, let it finish and when it's done all your files will be in the directory of your choosing here and uh, you're, you're all set basically. So this is a pretty nifty little program for recovering deleted files and I've, I've used this a lot actually over the years and uh, it's, uh, it has saved my hide more than once to say the least. So if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more don't forget to subscribe and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.